Hi guys, our today's topic is about Smith's fracture. We were discussing about the distal fractures of radius. So Smith's fracture is one of the distal fracture of radius. Uh, it is a articular transverse fracture of radius. So uh, in Smith's fracture, uh, the uh, fracture bone in his palmar angulation. Yeah, it means that uh, the fracture bone will be displaced palmly rather than dorsally if it is displaced dorsally then it will be a college fracture otherwise it will be a smith fracture if it is displaced palmly towards palm direction as you can see here the uh, that one is a college fracture the bone is displaced towards dorsum and in smith fracture the uh, fracture bone fragment fracture fragment is displaced towards palmar surface or we can say the palm leaf okay so now uh, this is smith fracture is basically an inward fracture and colis fracture was uh, outward fracture and uh, colis fracture it smith fracture we can also say that the smith fracture is exactly the reverse colis fracture and uh, it is uh, occurs uh, due to fall on flexed wrist rather than a force extension of hand fall on force extension of hand the force extension of hand leads to colis fracture and the fall on flexed wrist causes smith fracture so that is the difference between colis and smith fracture you can easily identify that which one is a smith fracture and which one is a colis fracture okay we have three types of smith fractures type one is a transfer fracture through distal radius and uh, in type two the dorsum of the articular surface will be affected the cr fracture crosses dorsum of the articular surface and in type three the uh, waller borton fracture uh, uh, type 3 is referred as waller borton uh, fracture in what will happen in a waller borton fracture the rc joint is will be dislocated is dislocated rc what is rc joint it is a radio carpal joint it means uh, rc joint is between the radius and carpal bones so it will be dislocated okay so which one which fracture is more dangerous smith either smith or college fracture so the interesting thing about smith fracture is that it is more the dangerous than college fracture because of its direction towards neurovascular structures okay guys uh, that was our today's uh, uh, lecture on smith fracture stay tuned with us i